Authoress, I wonder if you could share with us what you as Universal Energies feel are, in fact, the goals for humanity with regards to living in community and family. Mm. There are many goals in terms of that which humanity can have in terms of coming together in community. And of course, when we talk about community, that is the extension which includes all of humanity and that is what we are looking at at this particular moment in time the goal for humanity if they choose it is to live in peace and what does peace mean peace means that there is no what we would say lower vibrational emotions such as anger such as violence in the world that are causing difficulties in the nature of that which are individual relationships and that people on an individual level have come to an understanding that they desire a peaceful way of being in the world. And of course, what we would say and have said before is if you ask any individual, what is it that you desire? Would you be happy with a peaceful existence? Then they would say yes. Although, of course, they are looking for different experiences. The underlying purpose of being human is to be peaceful, is to be peaceful in relationship. And again, when you extend that out to humanity, humanity at a peaceful level will have moved beyond that which is the nature of violence, that which is the nature of anger, that which is the nature of, we would say, death from an unnatural cause, if you like. And that is one of the goals. And the other goal is in terms of the ego. The ego itself is that which seeks to survive. And it will seek to survive, often at the expense of other individuals or other communities. And so what will occur when humanity raises its vibrational frequency, each community or each individual will recognise that they are part of the whole, they are part of the oneness, and that if there is an aspect or a part of humanity that is not thriving, that is without resources, then it is a part of themselves that is without resources, that is not thriving. So there is a natural way of being, an energetic way of being, in desiring that all of humanity has all the resources that it needs, that the planet can provide. So what will occur then is a reduction in the fear energy that each individual or each community or each country has and of course in terms of hmm, at this particular moment in time the way that the earth is constructed in terms of its zones and abilities to provide resources there are concentrations in different parts of the globe where there are plenty of resources and there are those parts of the globe where there are little resources so what will occur in terms of that which is hmm, the coming together of humanity there will be a new distribution system that will emerge that will allow those resources that are concentrated in different parts of the globe to reach those that do not necessarily have their own resources. But of course, in terms of how that occurs, the energy or the frequency of fear needs to be reduced. And in terms of that, what that will then look like for humanity is that humanity itself provides all the individuals within humanity with the basics that can reduce or will allow the energy of fear to dissipate. And in terms of that particular aspect, we are talking about what do humans need to thrive? What they need is water, because that is the nature of your physical body. They need food, again, the nature of your physical body. They need shelter, again, the nature of the physical body, and clothing in those particular regions where that is important. Energy and education and that is what we would say in terms of the provision for each individual for each community for each nation for humanity itself to provide to allow individuals to overcome the nature of their fear-based way of being in the world so they are the goals it is the goal of peace and the other one of course that we need to mention if it is not already apparent is living in a vibrational frequency of love. Love itself is not a goal because you are already it, although the goal itself would be for you to realise that you are the vibrational frequency of love and that the vibrational frequency of love excludes violence against another individual, but it incorporates peace 
it incorporates a harmonious way of being and it incorporates the nature of hmm, having a basis of the way that you live your life free of fear so they are the three we would say main goals for being in community for being in the community of humanity what sort of time frame do you envisage this take i know you're not Mm. uh, always keen to talk about time but from a humanity perspective what time frame are we looking at Mm. we understand the nature that human beings look at time in terms of how they move through what they consider to be space and creates movement it creates experience in terms of time when you look at the complexities of the world itself when you look at how the social systems have been constructed and need to be deconstructed because what is important is that the world itself or we talk about humanity it is important that humanity does not descend into chaos because chaos itself then brings up the ego and in terms of that which is the ego then of course much fear will arise in terms of the individual's ability to survive so what is important is that there is a slow transition in terms of that which is the energy and of course in terms of humanity's vibrational frequency or humanity's experience as we will begin to more often talk about what is important is is that transition or the experience of changing that which is the energy needs to be slow it needs to be over a sustained period of what you call your time Mm. so when we are talking about that in terms of weeks or years what we are saying is that it will be the beginning at least 30 years from now that the decision for humanity as you know will be for humanity to say we desire a different way of being in the world so that is your first 30 year period because there needs to be this connection of the organizations that can make the necessary changes and then beyond that what we would say is it will be at least a hundred years and so it will not necessarily occur within the lifetime of those people that are currently living this particular incarnation they may of course choose to come back in terms of that which is their energy to be part of the continuous development of of humanity but what we would say it it will be around a hundred to a hundred and fifty years when the transition takes place over a slow period of time in order to avoid the chaos and the ego fear arising. So really the the work that we do now will be of huge benefit to Mm. our children, our children's children and so Mm. on. And so on. What is Mm. important is that humanity now, at this moment in time, begins to understand the nature of that which is occurring as the collective experience at a global level, at the global community level, and that is having an impact on the nature of the ability of the individual to live a life of peace and harmony and love. That is what is occurring. And at this moment in time, and of course we always talk about there is only now, it is important that human beings stop and understand what is happening in the world. They Mm. cannot ignore it because the nature of energy is to reveal itself. Mm. And if it is ignored, it will reveal itself again and so on and so humanity will arrive at that point where it can decide collectively because it is not simply a matter of one individual saying humanity has to change humanity itself has to say we desire change we desire to have a different experience thank you you're welcome Mm.